What's up everyone, it's uh, Snapper77. Uh, welcome back to the channel there. I was on uh, holidays there for a couple weeks. Uh, was uh, busy and didn't get a chance to do much uploading. Uh, today we're gonna be having a look at uh, at Phoenix. Um, kind of a, I wouldn't say maybe an underrated champ, but a lot of people find her hard to use since they don't really like to use her, but she's uh, got a lot of potential. Um, basically with her, what you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna use your parry and uh, heavy, heavy attack. Um, she has these uh, Phoenix Force charges she gets, which uh, they increase her attack. Uh, the more you have, the more you increase her attack. And she also is she also constantly gaining Fury along with the Phoenix Force charges. Um, um, we're gonna talk about the Empowered there. Um, what it does is when she gets more than five Furies, uh, she becomes Empowered. And what that does is, uh, gives her 100% chance to um, incinerate opponents on all attacks. It also uh, removes uh, perfect block and reduces their block proficiency for uh, 10 seconds by 50%, which is really nice because you can do a lot of damage through block during this uh, this time. Uh, and then when she gets to 11 Fury, she becomes overloaded. And with that, when she becomes overloaded, she expends all of her Phoenix Force charges and uh, then her Fury start going down. But during that state, she has a 25% chance to stun and incinerate on all attacks. And uh, one thing that sucks though is she, she has 80% reduced power gain during that time period. Uh, then once she once it gets down to one fury, she gains one Phoenix Force charge and starts to cycle all over again. Her special one is uh, is very very nice. Um, you get 10% power gain for each uh, Phoenix Force charge you have. Uh, it consumes up to one Fury, uh, increasing her special damage by 10% per uh, Fury consumed uh, from her L1. And uh, basically this is really nice because you can use her L1 to get you to L2 uh, very easily with the, with the power gain. And uh, you can actually go to L3 with six with uh, six charges as long as you got over one by the power, which is the real, real, real key thing with her. Her L2 uh, is really nice. Um, it gives you uh, three additional Phoenix char Phoenix Force charges when you uh, use your L2, and uh, that, that that works out really, really nice. Uh, you, you can use that to increase your uh, Phoenix Force charges uh, really easily. This first clip, we're gonna have a look at how you can go to L3 off of five hits. Uh, she starts the fight with one Phoenix Force charges. So you, if you do five parries and five heavies in a row, you'll have six Phoenix Force charges. You use your L1 and you power gains your rate to L3 and then you just drop your L3 right away. Uh, now the, this is kind of tricky, the timing for this, you want to uh, just, you want to you want to get there to that six Phoenix Force charges before she goes into overload mode and you need at least one bar of power. It's a duel against my buddy there, Iron Deceiver, kind of like uh, picking on her. Uh, she's fun to duel. Uh, she's also a pretty, pretty nice uh, countermeasure for, for her as well because you, you use her with the parry and the heavy, and uh, so you don't really have to do a lot of attacking when she's got the uh, three furies there with the auto block going. And uh, keep in mind, this is a three-star champ too there. Oh, he clipped me there. No big deal. Um, yeah, keep in mind, this is a three-star uh, Phoenix up against a 455 uh, Medusa here. And uh, it's, you can see there, she's going down pretty fast. I think uh, I think it was like 40 hits or something like that. Pretty good for a three-star to take uh, 455 down in, in uh, 40 hits. Uh, this next clip here, um, uh, those uh, pesky sentinels there. Yeah, so I wanted to throw this in there just to, just to show her that she's a very good counter for sentinels uh, as well there. Uh, with sentinels, you don't want to have a lot of repetitive motions with them. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me there. Um, I got hit with the L1. Sometimes I get hit with that still. I'll still uh, get the timing of it down with uh, the sentinels L1 there. Uh, there I see uh, use the power game use the L1 to get to L3 and watch the amount of damage this does This is only a three-star uh, Phoenix here up against a 455 Sentinel and you can just look how much damage done there to him and uh, Yeah, you can see he gets she gets around uh, 
because he's got the double immunities, but she does incinerate damage, which uh, gets around that. She also does armor break. Um, so yeah, she doesn't do a lot of repetitive actions, which uh, you can see his analysis is only at 12. So because you use parry heavy, you're not repeating actions by using, you know, like multiple light attacks and stuff like that. So it keeps analysis charges down. So yeah, she's really uh, good against Sentinels as well. Um, this next clip, I think we're going to jump right in here against uh, Winter Soldier here. We're just going to try and uh, try and do a bunch of different things there. See how much, how many hits uh, she can take them, uh, take them down with. Uh, this is my. Uh, 455 uh, Phoenix there. I, I took her uh, 455 for um, was it for a diverse rank up and also for prestige. Um, she's got really really high prestige and I, I kind of always liked liked her because she can do a lot of damage output. I don't really use her for a whole lot though because I got uh, a lot of other good champs that I can use for AW offense and AQ and that. I've been thinking about putting her on my Q team now though with these uh, Sentinels. I'm just trying to get a little bit more used to her. I'm still uh, still a little bit weak on, on landing successful parries with her, but I'm improving quite a bit. And you can see uh, she does quite a bit of damage with those heavy attacks there, uh, especially the more charges she gets. You see I used her L1 there to power gain myself to L2. And then I'm just gonna do a fadeaway intercept and drop the L2. Gets me right back up to four, uh, four Phoenix Force charges. So now when I can get back to L1, I can use my L1 again, and it pushes me right back to L2 again. And I can drop my uh, L2 if I want, like that, and it puts me right back to uh, five Phoenix Force charges. So you can see here, you can. It's kind of like a, a cycle you can use with her. You get frequently L1 and L2s, so you use your L1 and then you get to use your L2 right away and then it builds your Phoenix Force charges right back up. So it's a pretty uh, pretty sound fighting technique to use with her. It's a good way to, to keep your Phoenix Force charges up as well because you're always good. When you're using that L2, you're always going to be getting three Phoenix Force charges right away, which is uh, really nice. <laughs> see now that she's getting armor break and incinerate there because she's empowered and now she's gonna go into overload mode now and uh, she's incinerating and stunning winter soldier there doing quite a bit of damage uh, damage there and you can see her fury's going back down and now she's uh, ready to start the cycle over again there she's uh, the overload mode is over you can see she hits still pretty uh, pretty decently uh, 2300 there on uh, medium attack um, but she really gets those damage on those heavies there and uh, yeah it's she get, they uh, they add up pretty fast I think the, this fight uh, got winter soldier down in 275 hits which is uh, it's pretty decent for a, for a champ it's not not uh, something like uh, Star Lord or Star Command Spider-Man or something like that or Arch Archangel, but uh, yeah, she's uh, she she can do quite a bit of damage. So, up to six, uh, seven Phoenix Force charges there now. See, I used uh, the L1 there, and it, uh, because I had seven Phoenix Force charges, it pushes pushes your rate to all three that the power game is uh, really really very good with her it's kind of she kind of she's kind of like um, what I'd call like a maybe like a poor man's version of, of Hyperion the same you know the same fighting technique you parry and heavy and the more you parry and heavy your attacks can get stronger and uh, she also has regen uh, it's not as easy to use as Hyperion's but uh, it's still very good I think I show that in the last clip coming up, uh, how to use your regen, but she can go right to full uh, full health from 1% one, 1 to full health. I think you need seven Phoenix Force charges to be able to do that. Uh, four or five is gonna give her about maybe two, two or three quarter health, which is pretty good. Uh, that's your safest bet. Uh, it's, it's, it's uh, you can mess it up pretty easily if you try and go for seven or eight Phoenix Force charges. And they end up dying 
because uh, you lose once you get that uh, 10 Furies there then all your Phoenix Force charges expire and you can be put in a bad situation if you don't uh, if you get hit there trying to rebuild them back up but uh, for her regen I, th I think the best way to do it is um, to try and time it like maybe get one or two parries and heavies in when she's around two bars of power and then you just drop her L2 and then let them hit you and that will that should give you quite a bit of health back I think I regen in this match too but I messed it up I think I was trying to uh, I was trying to build them up and then didn't work out yeah I think right there I got, I got hit that's, that's, so I thought I was gonna try and regen a little bit here but then you can see my Phoenix force charges uh, expired there because it, so I would drop my L2 and I thought okay let's just get some health back here now and you can see there with four gives you about you know maybe 30 or 40 percent health Overall, I'm, uh, Phoenix is a, she's a good champ. Though. I think, uh, I would say she's not a top three, top three uh, cosmic champ, but um, she's definitely top five, because she's got, she's got a ton of prestige. I think the main thing that her, that she doesn't, she's lacking is immunities. A lot of the other cosmic champs have poison immunity. Like if she had poison immunity, it would put her like at a way different level. Um, or if she had some other sort of, uh, maybe like a mild power control or something like that. But she's basically just a raw damage and uh, regen champ. And she's also very tricky to use. Uh, timing with her is everything, trying to manage those furies and the uh, Phoenix Force charges. But if you can parry good with her and you can uh, manage those uh, Furies and Phoenix Force charges. He's definitely a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, my buddy Scuba D, he just is absolute wizard with uh, her. Yeah, I've seen him do things with her that just blows my mind. This last clip here, I uh, was just showing you uh, guys how to how to make her regen, uh, showing her regen capabilities. Now you want to be really careful when you're when you're going for your regen with uh, with Phoenix. Um, if you let those Phoenix Force charges expire and then purposely get hit, you're not going to regen anything. Uh, so you got to just time it, time it right so that you're able to have the most Phoenix Force charges you can before you purposely uh, let yourself get hit there. Once uh, the once the Furies start getting up around seven, eight, you got a limited amount of time there to make your decision. See, I'm at five there. I uh, could have uh, could have went for it there, but I didn't. Um, see, and then now I expired. Now I'm have one percent health, and I'm in a lot of trouble here. Um, yeah, so I think uh, I was gonna go for more. I, five wasn't enough for me at the time. I was trying to get full uh, full full health on this, so I was got myself up to four, five, five, and then I think I dropped the. L2 here for eight, or I think I get up with eight here. Yeah, I get myself eight, and then I purposely let myself get hit, and look just like that, and back to full health. Well, guys, that's my uh, video on Phoenix. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, have a good one.